But the teacher was too occupied to notice his deep well of empathy. It's okay, Cece. The dad called out. I'm sorry, Miss Jenny. She loves that book so much. He rose from his chair, but the teacher stayed in with a shake of her head. Hey guys, hello. How's it going? Happy 1st of March. How are we all doing? It has been quite some time since I have vlogged for you guys. So hey, <laughs> welcome back to the channel. It's Barb. Well, you obviously know that you've logged into, tuned into a vlog that I'm filming this week. So it's Wednesday, the 1st of March. Sorry, I'm really excited because I'm back to vlogging again and I've really, really missed it. And yeah, it's just been all sorts of cray cray <laughs> in Cottonmouth. That's all I'm gonna say. It's a conversation for another day. I'm not gonna talk about it today, but the last three or four weeks have not been quite, quite nice and what I really wanted. So we'll talk about it another day. I am excited to be back vlogging. As I say, it's Wednesday the 1st of March. It is a new month. It is March already. It is springtime. The weather is so much nicer here in Northern Ireland. And yeah, maybe a bit cold outside, but it's really sunny and really beautiful weather. So cannot complain at all. Another thing that's exciting about this month is it's library month and I am embarking on a month long experiment where all I am going to be doing is reading from the library and I am really really excited you guys for the end of the month for my wrap up to see how much money I've actually saved by using my library. I cannot wait. I am so excited. The library is like the best thing that was ever invented in in all of our bookworm lives and I don't think that we use it enough and I'm here to beat those drums and get everyone using the library a wee bit more so I'm hopefully going to be running some sort of um, readathons um, throughout 2023 where we push ourselves to read from the library but yes there's going to be loads of events going on in my Patreon uh, there's loads of filming going to be happening, vlogs um, I'm going to get my librarian to recommend me some books and I'm going to vlog those and pretty much everything I'm going to read is either physically from the library, from Borrowbox or from Libby. So today already I have an update for you guys. I'm so excited. So I've been listening to my first audiobook of March and it is Picture Here Counterfeit by, goodness me, I haven't got my phone with me. It's Pictured Here and... I am currently 67% of the way through. Now it's only a seven hour audiobook, so it's absolutely not gonna take me that long. I'm listening to it on two times speed or just under two times speed. So I've about an hour left, I think, um, an hour and a half left on the audiobook. And this one basically is about our main character who has left her job as a lawyer to sort of be a stay at home mom. And she, is sort of wanting to make a wee bit of money and one of her old school friends comes into her life um sort of out of the blue and offers her a opportunity of a lifetime which i'm not going to go into because it'd be a spoiler but it's not particularly it's not above board it's not legal if you know what i mean so so she's sort of getting really really deep into shady shady things that she shouldn't be doing she's got a family she's got a kid and yeah it's just i don't think it's going to end too good put it that way but i'm really really enjoying it rebecca had listened to it last month i think for one of her events in her book club so she had recommended it to me as a short audiobook and a really good one just to kick off march and get sort of ticked off so this afternoon i am on my lunch break now but this afternoon while i'm working i'm going to listen to the last hour and a half of that one and that's going to be really exciting because i'll be one book down for the first of march then 
me and Rebecca have made out a schedule of body reads of the library books that I have at the moment and what she's wanting to read as well. So the first book we're going to be reading together is The Collective by Alison Galen and to say I am excited for this one is an understatement. So I am currently on my one hour lunch break now from work. Um, Aaron's just left to go back to work so I've seen him, made him his lunch and I'm going to start and get stuck into this. I think Rebecca has read 70 pages or so. Um, this is a large print um sort of copy it's really random it's so big look at how big the, the words are so it shouldn't take me a long time to get through it it is only it's actually quite short 335 pages so i'm really 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 excited for this one and then thirdly my kindle net galley read i picked out of the jar last night was karen mcmanus's is it you'll be the death of me i think it's called again i'll picture it here i don't have my phone on me it's downstairs but yeah you'll be the death of me so my main plan alongside my library books this month is to read my neck alley tbr down as well because that's an ongoing project that has to happen so i'm hoping to get to 10 neck alley so i have a jar now with all i feel like 136 neck alleys that i need to get to isn't that terrible so i picked out yesterday um for my patrons on video the first pick so what i'm aiming to do with that is to read for an hour before bed every single night and it's going to be my neck alley tbr or it's whatever i've chosen for the neck alley pick so that's really 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 excited just the three books on the go i'm going to finish one in the next hour and a half which is really exciting and I'm going to go and get myself a cup of tea and a biscuit and yeah I'm going to start and read this one. Okay guys so it's been a wee bit of time since the last updated but I am currently on page 100 of The Collective and my 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 <laughs> I am really loving it. It's crazy. It's crazy. So it's currently what time? No, I'll tell you now. It's currently eight o'clock, and I am going to read for an hour and a half. Have a cup of tea, biscuit, read a bit more, and yeah, this is really, really, really good. Really good. Okay, guys. So it's a good wee bit later on now. Um, it's actually ten past nine, and I'm just coming in to say that I'm literally a hundred pages off finishing the collective. Um, I'm currently on page two hundred and fifteen, and my my my, this is dark. <laughs> it's very very good. It's very very addictive, and it's really really hard to put down. So I just made myself another cup of tea. I think it's about my fifth cup of tea tonight. I only have this much left to read, and to be honest with you, I am wanting to read it. I want to finish it tonight. So I think I'm going to set up until I've finished it. So even if I could get maybe another hour, um, yeah, maybe an hour and a half. I think I'm going to finish this one so yeah it's really really good um basically if you don't know what it's about it's about her main character who her daughter um committed suicide or killed herself or died and the boy in her university who was allegedly the person who did it got away with it way back and she basically wants sort of justice for her daughter so she joins this sort of um, group called the collective and it's a collective of mothers who have lost children and justice hasn't been done for them either and basically she is in this group of women who are i can't really give away too much because it would be a spoiler but they are a group of women who want justice for their children so read into it what you will <laughs> It's very very dark, absolutely it's a roller coaster, but definitely a refreshing thriller. It's so refreshing. Um totally recommended by so many people I know. So yeah, so glad I'm buddy reading it with Rebecca. But yeah, I'll probably come in to you before I go to bed because I am gonna sit here and I'm gonna finish this book and I will let you know. It's a five star um right now unless it takes a nosedive here in the last 100 pages i can see it being a a five star but yeah 
on a reading day oh my god can i actually finish two books on the first of march who even am i hey guys okay so it is now friday sorry i didn't vlog at all yesterday why did i not vlog yesterday i think it was a busy manic manic day in work and yeah thursdays are always manic in work i think one of my managers was just back off holiday and he was firing through work and then last night i had a wee bit of uni work to do um so i didn't want to come in and vlog while i was doing that but i do have a reading update for you guys and it's friday night i wanted to talk you through my weekend plans and what i am going to be getting up to so it's now lunchtime I have a meeting at two o'clock and then a phone call to make um, to the bank after but I did finish two books on Wednesday which is the first of March so I finished two books in one day one on audio and one physically so on audio I'm going to picture it here again as you know if you've watched my previous clips I read Counterfeit um, which was absolutely wonderful it was a very short audiobook and it was very very good very um, it was like it was a proper roller coaster the twist came halfway through, which normally doesn't happen um, in a story, you know, or a thriller, or was it a, th it was sort of a soft thriller. It's hard to explain. I'm going to have to look up Goodreads, but I did rate it four stars. I did really, really enjoy it, and I am so glad I listened to it. So, one down, really, really pleased. Then I managed to read in one day The Collective by Alison Galen, and I knew this was going to be a very very quick read i didn't think i was going to read it one day but i knew it was going to be a quick read i gave this one five stars i am currently waiting for rebecca to catch up and read it because i know she's absolutely going to love this one as well it was very very dark it was very very intriguing i didn't know what was going to happen lots of plot twists and turns lots of people who you couldn't trust lots of secrets coming out and all that good stuff and it was just this is the reason why i read thrillers and i am only sorry that i have not read this one before now but yes five stars and book two down of march so if any of you guys follow me on social medias i read three books in february because february was one of the worst months of my life personally and just it, it was just mental it was busy and i didn't even want to pick up a book i wasn't vlogging i wasn't filming i wasn't on youtube nothing and honestly i'm already doing better than february well i'm not obviously but i'm further ahead um at the start of the month so i think the plans are now i do have my neck galley that i picked for my patreons on tuesday which is you'll be the death of me by karen mcmanus i haven't started that yet I have Secluded Cabin Sleep Six, which is a body read with Miss Rebecca as well, um, by Lisa Unger. I've got that on that galley, so that's two neck galleys I'm going to knock out this weekend, hopefully. Um, I'm, I'm off the rest of the afternoon, so I'm going to make a start on Secluded Cabin Sleep Six, and I'm reading that. I've got it on neck galley, but it's also on the Borrow Box app, um, app as well, so I'm able to borrow that from my library because it is library month. And then I think physically, we need to go over to the we need to go over to the shelf. Right, I'm gonna take you over to the shelf. Come on over to the shelf and we'll try and pick a new read for me. Right, so we've quite a bit to choose from. Go on by Barb's Bookland and what I rolled. I really should be reading The It Girl or You Made a Death Full of Death with Your Beauty. Um, I have a couple of series that I could start as well, um, The Duke and I and Legendborn, but I don't know if I want to, don't know if I want to get into those just yet. The Four Winds, I'm starting as a body read with Brittany and her book club in the middle of the month, the 15th I think it is. Sundown Motel is for an author spotlight later on in the month. I'm really gravitating towards the Black House and the Guest House, but I don't know what to do four over here as well which i'm really interested in too but i just don't know what to do like i've got the project by courtney summers i think that could be a really quick read actually i don't think it's very long hold on 345 pages yeah come on we'll just do this i'll, I'll make it work yeah okay so the project by courtney summers it is another of my library physicals i want to have a physical on the go at all times a tablet kindle book and then an audio if i possibly can and as i say this is 345 pages all i know is is i think there's cult elements in this one uh we follow our main character whose sister has been has um sort of joined this i think it's the unity project and 
our main character thinks that they've stolen her sister and she's in a cult and she's been brainwashed and I think she actually goes to go and try and get her back after a tragic action kills most of her family and leaves her little sister low on the brink of death B. Denham is desperate for a miracle it arrives in the form of Lev, Le Lev Warren the charismatic spiritual leader of the new project he promises he can save Low. all B has to do is believe Low wakes in the ICU to find her parents are dead and her sister has abandoned her the more Low learns the more she's convinced the beloved organisation is hiding sinister secrets if only she could make B believe okay sounds good and sounds like it could be very quick so that's my plans um this weekend there are sprints on sunday for patrons we are going to be starting to pack the house up because we are moving it's looking like easter guys it's looking like like the 7th of april is good friday and it's looking like easter so yeah i think easter is going to happen so we're going to start um getting a loft sorted out um sunday i'm going to work on the bookshelves and all of the books that i'm selling getting those boxed up getting them out getting them away um everything else is going to the charity shop these chests of drawers behind me here i'm just pointing to yes these ones i need to clear those out because they are getting smashed to smithereens they're not coming with us and this spur bed needs to be taken down and yeah we're pretty much just going to use this spur room for everything that will box up and everything that's ready to go on moving day so how exciting is it like seriously i'm finally starting to get excited so yeah that's it right i'm gonna go uh i need to do a bit of cleaning around the house and sort myself out get a bite to eat get some lunch and then i will check in with you maybe when i've read the first chapter of this one to let you know what i'm thinking about it hey guys how's it going so it is a saturday now and I'm just coming in to update you on the fact that today is basically going to be me and Aaron packing up, start starting to pack up the house. So reading wise, I think I'm probably going to finish slammed today um, around about, I think, 40, 42 minutes. I think I saw, I checked it this morning when I, when I woke up. 42 minutes left so that's another audiobook done and then me and Rebecca are gonna kick on and start into Demon Copperhead on audio which is the buddy read that Tracy um, chose for the Patreon as she is Patreon of the month so I'm very very excited for that. So it's a 21 hour sort of um, audiobook so all day today is going to be dedicated to the spur room and the loft. So Aaron has just nipped out for a couple of hours to see his mum and his daughter Victoria um he's nipped over to his mum's so i'm here on my own and i've had a bite to eat quickly i'm having a cup of tea and i've started packing up the bookshelves and the chest of drawers where the tv sits so me and him today is going to be basically packing up the spur room enough where when we finish with boxes and sort of um you know put things away then they're going to go into the spur room this is going to be the room where everything's going to sit until we move so we can just move it all downstairs whenever we're ready on moving day so yeah let me just show you what's going and what's staying and all that good stuff i'll just flip you around okay so this is where the tv sits obviously um i have just cleared out this whole chest of drawers it is completely empty and everything's in the main bathroom at the moment aaron's going to come home and we're going to break this down and take it to the dump later on this evening the tv's going to be put into the main bathroom until we get in here cleared all of this obviously is going to be moved these are books that i am selling on vintage so they're going to be going and um, their orders so they need to be boxed up and taken away and then the spur bed is going to be taken down at some stage um and it's going to be broken down because it's going to be going to the new house for one of the main the spur rooms in the in the new house so that's going to be taken sort of broken down and then re sort of um made up again when we get over over to that house so if you can understand whenever i get the bookshelves sort of cleared which you've already seen there will be this whole room and over here it's going to be completely cleared and that's where we're going to keep everything that sort of needs to be in boxes all that stuff um whenever Aaron comes back from his mum's there's the loft there we're going to go up into the loft well he is because I'm scared of heights we're going to go up into the loft and we are going to 
clear everything from the loft and yeah try and go through it all mark it all put it in here as stuff to go anything that needs to be dumped can go to the dump tonight along with this table so it's all go so guys i think you can imagine that for the next two or three weeks maybe four it's going to be manic um we didn't think we were going to be moving as quickly the offer is due to come through on the house um monday tuesday this week coming and basically Aaron's brother his stepbrother um is a financial advisor so he's dealing with the mortgage and everything in between and we went to um the playing fields across the road that we take Novak to last night and we met up with him and his dog was there and it was all good fun and he basically told us that they're pushing for the 31st of March so it would have been three weeks just or four weeks yesterday we were pushing for Easter which would have been five weeks but I guess what's another week you need to start packing up anyway and yeah, so thank the Lord, amen, for audiobooks because they are going to be getting me through this month. Although I do hope after we finish with the loft and we've sort of got about to eat for dinner and stuff, we, there will be a wee bit of quiet time this evening to read and, you know, I'm starting to get my mojo back. So that's really good. So that's the plans for today. I'm going to finish Slammed Off and then I'm going to start Demon Copperhead. So I guess I will keep you updated as I go along throughout the day, but not much other than um, clearing the house is happening at the minute making a wee bit of progress just in the middle here's my library book so I'm not getting rid of those because I need to read them I mean we're here till the whole of March so I need those for library March and then up here is my ornaments so they're going to be going away and then I have to tackle this side so yeah but at least I'm listening to an audiobook while I'm at it <laughs> time to pack up my bookmarks <laughs> even my bookmarks are moving house how exciting. Hey guys, okay, so it's Sunday afternoon now. It's 20 to 2. I'm just getting ready for my Patreon sprints. So they kick off at 2. I am going to be reading Secluded Cabin Sleep 6 by Lisa Unger. And I'm aiming to have it finished today so fingers crossed a wee bit of computer work to do for the first sprint and then I'm going to read for the rest so I'm going to go to six two to six so very excited Okay guys, so I'm just a chapter, well the prologue into Secluded Cabin Sleep 6 by Lisa Unger and I wanted to come in just to give you a quick um, sort of rundown as to what it's about because I didn't really know what it was about actually until I went into it, well I still don't really know but in the prologue basically we meet a family and it's Christmas and they're all giving out their presents and then they have their dinner and you can tell that they don't all get on and there's different things going on um, throughout different siblings and all that good stuff. The mum and dad, all that. The mum's very standoffish, not very affectionate. The dad's really the best daddy in the world and all that good stuff. So at the end of the evening, um, their dad brings out presents for them all and in them it's a DNA kit and they're all like oh dad you know what'd you get this for and he's like no I didn't get it so none of them basically say that they, they got them that they didn't know how the presents got into the house and then it leaves off with the brother the younger brother saying about going to this secluded cabin um which is like six months away um to put it in their diary and he's going to send a link over and show them all the details and that's about it. So, as I say, I don't really know much about it. I don't really know what it's about, obviously. Secluded Cabin Sleep Six to me is an isolated sort of thriller, which I absolutely love. And there's good short chapters and everything. And I really enjoy listening to the audio and reading along on my tablet. So it's going good so far. I'm just 10 minutes out of the end of this first sprint and then I'm going to continue on with it. 
for the rest of the day. I'm going to go to about six o'clock. So not four, four sprints probably, or long sprints. So hopefully I can catch up with her back because she's on 30% at the moment. I'm only on five because I've only started up. So yeah, I'll keep you up to date, let you know how I'm getting on maybe when the sprints are over and give you an idea as to what this is actually about and what I'm sort of thinking about it. But I know Lisa Unger, I read Last Girl Ghosted, which was five stars for me. I know it got a hard time in the book community. It was up and down. People either really liked it or didn't. I think that's Lisa Unger in a nutshell. I really like her. I like her writing style. So hopefully I'm going to love this one. So talk to you later. Hey guys, okay, so this is me just coming in to wrap up this week's vlog. Well, Wednesday to Sunday anyway. It is now Monday morning. I am just logging in for work and I wanted to wrap up this vlog and get it edited and get it out for you this week, hopefully. And then I am going to start a new weekly vlog today so you'll be able to continue on seeing what I'm reading. So yeah, this week was a very productive week reading-wise, um, especially since I have been in one of the worst reading slumps of my life to date. So I think <clears throat> wrapping up, I read The Collective, which I rated five stars. I absolutely loved it. I have been reading Under the Whispering Door for the Black Crow PR um, read along, which is cool. That's on a, it's gonna be on a separate video, which is coming out um, this week sometime as well. I read Counterfeit, I listened to it on audiobook, I gave it four stars and I also listened to Slammed by Colleen Hoover which I rated three stars and I am in the middle of Secluded Cabin Sleep 6 by Lisa Unger which is an audio and I'm reading on Neck Alley and I have a jam packed week next week of Buddy Reads with Rebecca again so you will hear about those in next week's vlog. So yeah I definitely feel like I am back on the reading train which is cool. I have read some really good thrillers this week and I've really really enjoyed them cannot believe it's March but here we are we're into our second week now I am wrapping up this vlog in the second week in March oh my goodness I hope you've had fun watching me packing up the house because over the next few weeks and few vlogs that's all you're going to see <laughs> audiobooks are going to be my best friends so yeah thank you so much for watching this if you got to the end i appreciate it so much you just even watching this video let alone getting to the end of it and running along with my antics and listening to me sort of chatting on and, and all that good stuff but pop a comment down below and let me know what you read this first week of march as well and if you're having a good reading sort of um, month already and yeah I guess with that being said I will say bye bye for now thank you again for being here and I will see you in my very next video